Hi everybody, Karen Roby here with Tiernan and Ray of ZDNet. And we're talking today uh, about a conversation, Tiernan, that you had with a really fascinating lady, Pamela McCordick, who uh, just put out a new book. I'm gonna let you talk about that, but talk a little bit about Pamela and uh, the, the history that she has followed here with the guys who uh, created AI. You know, this is kind of an amazing story uh, for people like us who are reporters. Karen, uh, this woman, Pamela McCordick, let me get a picture of her up here. She's a lovely person and she talked with ZDNet about this new book she has out. She has been for 60 years an acquaintance of the people who were sort of the founding fathers of artificial intelligence. She met them when she was working as a young woman in 1960 at Stanford University and all these brilliant minds would come through. She got to know them socially and in 1979 she wrote uh, what is one of the, the most important histories of artificial intelligence, which at the time was um, just kind of getting going, uh, um, uh, which was called Machines Who Think. And so now she said, years later, I'm not going to do any more about that subject, but 41 years later, she's come out with a new book, which is sort of a sequel, uh, which is called This Could Be Important. That's her new book. And we talked with her a little bit about it this week. I love that. And she, uh, Tiernan, you were telling me this just earlier, that she was just fascinated by their work and just kept in touch with them and, and knew that this is going to be important, what, the, what they were doing so many years ago. Right. The title of her book, This Could Be Important, is a phrase she kept saying to her friends in the humanities because Ms. McCordick is a writer. She's a novelist. She was a professor of English for many years. And she kept running up against uh, basically the cool kids, the people in the humanities who were writers and poets and dancers and actors and uh, lovers of the arts and letters who kept saying to her, why are you writing about these nerds, basically? This stuff is creepy, you know, it's AI. And she was trying to tell them back in 1979 when she wrote the first book, when it was uh, not clear that artificial intelligence, you know, you know before, Terminator movie came out, et cetera. She's trying to tell them someday this stuff could be really important science. And so uh, she's sort of banging her head against the humanities for decades. And this could be important. The new book is a story about how um, basically the humanities fails to understand that, that AI is um, in the grand tradition of taking thought and uh, taking the human capacity for thought and extending it in new ways, much as, you know, technological inventions have extended uh, uh, human beings' leverage and, and control over the environment. So she's a big believer in AI, and she's been trying to tell people who are the cool kids in the humanities. Yeah, and, and Tiernan, we now know today, of course, AI is behind so much. You know, it's being used in so many industries uh, for so many different reasons. And really, there's so much more to come that we don't even know about right now. But she saw that potential years ago, didn't she? She did. And she's kind of special in a way because all the other writers and theorists about AI will talk constantly about what it's going to do. And she's a person who's saying, look, this stuff is now everywhere. It's in your cell phone. It's when you go and do Google search. It's when you are looking at content on Instagram. It's everywhere. And as a person who's in the society, you ought to pay attention and you ought to kind of, in a way, make peace with the prevalence of this technology because, in a sense, AI has already arrived. It may not be in the form that you think of, but given that it's in your smartphone, it's in your computer, it's in your car, it's in all the infrastructure around you, you ought to stop thinking about it as a thing that's someday arriving and you ought to make peace with it and accept that in some sense it's here already. Yeah, most definitely here and, and certainly not going anywhere. <laughs> all right, Tiernan. Uh, well, I know you've got much more on your conversation with Pamela uh, in your article there and you can find it on ZDNet. Thanks for watching.